take. Um, what else did you want to show? Stanley Peterson. The Peterson. He wants me to do a Peterson, so Rolf. Um, I, I did an NCAA tournament probably three or four times, which is very difficult to hit it on those kind of guys. And I did it um, internationally probably about 20 times against uh, foreign wrestlers that had no idea what was going to happen to them. And then I did it uh, in fighting about 10 times in fights. And it worked almost every time. But I did tear my hamstring in two <laughs> in France trying to do it on the Russian. But I will show you that tomorrow. I will show you guys once again, I'm, I'm not at full strength, but this particular move is a trip. And me and my brother learned this. Before I started wrestling, I was 12 years old. Me and my brother went to one of those bookmobiles and bought a book on wrestling. And we went out in the garden and learned wrestling moves. And this was the first one I learned. This is before I went to wrestling practice. And uh, funny thing is I hit it on, on a world medalist too. But anyway, uh, what you want to do with this particular move is you want to control one side. So double up on one side. So I, I want to grab one of his wrists with both hands. Okay? Then I want to give him diversion. And I give him diversion with my hips. So remember the thing we did against the wall? I'll do it here. And he's going to follow my hips. If he's a good wrestler, he's going to follow my hips. So I'm going one way with my hips. He's following. Then I'm stepping back the other way and sitting down. Wow. Okay. So with this particular, remember the last finish? You could in wrestling. I got to pin the guy to win. I might go for the pin. But typically on a good guy, he's going to get up. And he's going to take my back if, I, if I'm not careful. So I keep this wrist, and I keep pressure on the head. Head, I block here again, then I go here again. And in wrestling, I would go under his head, and then I would go for the fall this way. Okay? In fighting, I'd go under his head with this, posture up, and then start to hit this guy uh, from this position and make him get out of it. All right? Sorry. Uh, no, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> um, one more time. Pick a side that you want to go to, okay? Oh, in wrestling, we don't do this to get out. This doesn't work. This is what works. Elbows, and I drop my level. I drop my level, he's got to unlock his hands anyway. Not necessarily in freestyle, but you don't get out this way, you get out this way. So if I want the bottom hand, and I don't necessarily have it, I'll do this, drop level, ooh, I got it. Okay, so now that I got it, I got to give him a diversion. Okay, I need him to move that way two inches so I can so I can step around. So I'll turn into him hard this way. And I'll step behind him. Okay? I control this here and I keep weight on his head like this. So he, you know he's gonna try to take my back. And I need him. Here, here, tight, here, wrestling, here. Okay? Can you do the drop part, like the sitting part? I'm going to do it a different way. I'm going to do it a different way so he's not getting thrown. There's another way to do it. <laughs> There's another way to do it. Double up. Okay. Double up. Give him a little bit of hip here just so he can follow you. Step through and sit down. That's awesome. Still three points. Still three points. You don't even have to slam him. Okay. Guys, don't don't hurt someone. <laughs> don't hurt someone. <laughs> Go ahead, try. You double up on one hand. That's the leg you're going to step to. If I got this hand, I'm going to trip this leg. So I have to take my leg and step behind him, sit on my butt. And he's going to roll. When he rolls, cover toward his hips. Go ahead, guys.